Okay. Uh, welcome to the Melbourne Vmug, everybody. A um, bit, uh, bit of a rush at the end there. Apologies, I just jumped off a train to get here. So, um, yeah, uh, thanks for coming tonight. So, um, I've got the agenda here. I just want to make a couple of comments just before we jump in. I've got a few slides just talking about uh, a couple of things that are going on at the moment. Um, just really to talk about the two main presentations for tonight. So, we've got a bit of a different order to what we normally do. We've actually got a uh, community presentation first. Um, uh, one of the uh, steering committee members, uh, Tony, is going to uh, talk about um, operations on a limited budget uh, with his colleagues, so that, that's going to be interesting. And then uh, we've got a bit of a break, and then we've got our main event tonight. The, um, basically, it's a, a panel discussion. We've got some of the uh, representatives of some of the new, uh, new world storage architectures in tonight that's going to talk about their uh, technologies and how they work and what differentiates them to more traditional uh, storage architectures. So I think that's going to be really interesting, yeah? Um, we've got uh, Grant Orchard as well, who's going to basically facilitate that meeting so that um, you know, we're as neutral and as unbiased as possible, yeah, so thanks for that, Grant, appreciate it, yeah. And then over to uh, Trunk Town afterwards as well for V-Beers as well, so that should be, should be pretty much good fun. I just want to start off, there's been a few things that have gone on uh, in the last couple of days, um, so I don't know if you know who John, uh, John Mark Troyer is, um, he's basically the creator of this community, the VMware community. He finished up at VMware today. He did the last VMTN uh, Roundtable podcast, so I don't know if you've ever listened to that podcast, it's a really good podcast, so... I think it was two, uh, number 278, which is kind of phenomenal in its own right. So I just want to, I don't guess, pay my respects really to, to John, because um, he's been a big influence to the, uh, the community, uh, for myself personally, as well as um, you know, for many people. Um, so yeah, goodbye John. Uh, so long and thanks for all the fish, yeah? Really good. Um, I've got a few questions I wanted to ask as well, just for attendees as well. So is there anyone new here today who's never been, never attended a VMUG before? Anyone? Cool. Um, I'm, I don't, sorry to pick you out, sir, but I was just wondering, what made you come tonight? What, what, what kind of...? Uh, we're not for profit, so obviously mm -hmm. there was, there's, there's a bit of a thing there with the sale I was presenting tonight. So okay, yeah, okay, good. Yeah. So, so the content, specifically, yeah? yeah? Yep. And then do you, you know, is, is, uh, are you intending to get some kind of networking um, yeah, opportunity out of this as well? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, everyone's in the same boat, sort of thing, so... It's storage. Yeah. Cool, okay. And uh, also, hands up if you attended the user conference earlier this year, a uh, you know, big one in February, yeah? Great, a lot of hands there, brilliant. That's excellent, yeah? Um, just wanted to ask as well if anyone's a, a VCP here. Anyone done their VCP? Two years ago. Well done. And a VCAP as well, anybody got their VCAP, yeah? Cool. Interesting. And anybody interested in backing on a journey to VCDX? <laughs> yeah, it's a big, it's a big thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. All right, thanks, yeah. So, just a bit about the the user conference and the people involved in the user conference. So, I like to get the guys up. Um, I think Tony, you're the only guy here tonight. Yeah, I think I think uh, Damien's here, is he as well? So, um, you know, these are the guys. There's any Tony right here at the moment? Come on, Tony. Come on. Come on. Stand up. Show everybody, yeah. The, these are the guys that work behind the scenes. You know, like so, this event wouldn't occur without these guys. Um, I know um, Andrew's going to be a bit late, so he said he was coming in. He's doing the giveaways tonight as well, so he has to be here. He's an important part of the, uh, of the team, yeah? So, and there's Damien as well, and, and Tony here too. And, you know, I just want to say thanks to these guys, because it wouldn't happen without them as well. So if we give them a bit of a round of applause, that would be great, yeah? Thanks, thanks. Cool. thanks, thanks. Yeah. And also to Nathan as well. So Nathan's basically been the VMware liaison for the... Um, for the uh, user group, um, he's been here longer than me. Like uh, I started about 2010, he's been doing it before then. So he's, you know, he's a really big, important part of the team. And like without him, you know, I don't think we'd have um, achieved some of the things that we have done yet. And there's a couple of other guys here as well that are going to speak later on as well. There's Grant and um, Greg as well. Uh, come on, guys, stand up a sec, will you? Uh, so you probably know them if you don't. They're VMware employees, but they've, they've been, you know, real. Um, you know, important uh, parts of the team, you know, like getting involved and helping us out, especially with signing sheets and things like that. So, <laughs> thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, just mention the meeting sponsors as well. So, you know, I said before that we do actually have V-Beers going on afterwards tonight. And, uh, you know, I want to just call out VMware, obviously, Nutanix, uh, Tintry, and Pure Storage as well. We're all going to be supporting some um, after-meeting drinks, which are always, you know, very important. It's probably the critical, most important part of the uh, the user, the user group meeting, to be honest. 
And I also want to just call out the, the giveaway sponsors as well. So we've got the VMware Press, uh, Crash Plan, and Plural Site as well. So if you've not heard of these companies, um, especially uh, Crash Plan and Plural Site, um, you know, they're, they're quite uh, very much around um, providing additional service around education and stuff like that. So um, we'll be coming around and giving this stuff away later on. So just um, you know, bear that in mind. <coughs> Uh, we'll, we're always after good questions, so if there's any good questions, typically you'll get a, a, a prize for that. Yeah, any question. No, good questions. <laughs> not, not any questions. Good questions. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so uh, just an update from the Melbourne VMWorld. Uh, just shoot through some of these. Um, you know, we're always looking for new steering committee members, so uh, you know, if you want to be involved in planning events and, and content, and uh, you know, if you want to give to our tech community and also gain recognition, you know, that's, uh, I'll talk a bit more about gaining recognition in a minute as well, but. Uh, you know, if you feel you've got some spare time and you can get involved, you know, we'd really appreciate the help. Yeah? So uh, you, know, you can reach us at the uh, vmug.com Melbourne uh, website, at melbourne at vmug.com, and also the um, at mvmug uh, Twitter account as well. So just reach out and get in touch, you know, we could always do with a bit of help. So, and then what we've got here is just a lineup for the dates. So, you know, if you ever know, want to know what's going on for this year, uh, you can go on the um, vmug.com slash Melbourne site and we've got these dates up there. Um, I'll talk a bit it as well. We, we've started to do the V beers as well, so we've slotted them keenly in between our quarterly meeting events, and um, yeah, I'll talk a bit more in a minute about those and, um, and what they entail. Yeah. So there's all the dates. So if you want to know what's going on next, obviously we've got our quarterly meeting today. Oh, I would point out as well. So we did have our user conference. We had our largest uh, number of event attendees for a user conference. Uh, this is the third user conference that we've done. Uh, we have 374 attendees. So for the guys who, who put their hand up and said that they were there, thanks. I really appreciate your support. really appreciate you coming on. And for those that didn't put their hand up, I expect to see you there next year. So, or else. <laughs> cool. So just on the bee beers, um, you know, this is something we've introduced. Um, we had our first one on the uh, 3rd of uh, April. Uh, Trunk Town, just across the road from here. Uh, we're going to try and use this venue more often now. It's, uh, it's a pretty good place. Um, you know, what, what's the purpose of eBeers? Well, really the idea is, and you know, I think that uh, line says it all really, is that um, the idea is about getting like-minded people together and solve the world problems. I mean, world tech problems, obviously. So, uh, you know, it's not sponsored, you know, pay your own way. But everybody's welcome, you know, so be a customer, integrate, a vendor. We, we, we don't mind you. It's, we're all part of the same ecosystem. It's impor important to get those people together um, for that discussion, yeah? So, um, next one's on the 26th. Of June, so yeah, kind of, kind of after this uh, quarterly meeting before the next one, nicely slotted in there. So yeah, it'd be great to see you there. Um, I also want to talk about, you know, back to this gaining recognition. Um, we smashed the, uh, the number of V experts in ANZ, yeah. We smashed it, yeah. A whopping 16, 16 people. So if your name's on this list. Can you stand up for us, yeah? There's a few people here. In fact, you know what? Come out the front. Come on. <laughs> Someone's got to be king. Come on, come out the front. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was easy, wasn't it? Eh? Come on, guys, come on. No. You, and you're at the back there as well. No. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah? And this guy. Is he, is he yeah, you've got to get behind, from behind the camera. Oh, right. <laughs> so just stand, everyone stand still, nobody move. Yeah. 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 I, I wanted to really um, just talk. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to talk briefly about what an V expert is. So this isn't like a, you know, a, a technical accreditation. Yeah, this is more about what you're doing for the community and how you're getting involved in the community. We've got some key people here. You know, people like Grant, people like uh, Josh, Justin, who've all like put their own time in, you know, to be involved in this community. And that putting that time in pays dividends. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we get now. I mean. Guys, yeah. Well, I'm just asking. You know, what, what kind of stuff do you get as being a, a V expert? Does anyone want to? Oh, yeah, I get to stand up at a meeting. Martin's case. That's pretty good. That's not like you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd be a bit more sincere. Yeah. 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 But no, no. I mean, like you know, there's, there's a lot of benefits to it. That's oh, what I'm trying to get at. I mean, good. it's yeah. ac access to beaters, mm. um, license keys, you know, all the stuff that you don't get. All the stuff that we don't get. Um, <laughs> no, but seriously, like for these guys, you know, it's access to content. It's access to things like. The cloud hybrid service and things like that, um, a whole bunch of beta activity and community activity that you get that you don't get as even as part of being a partner um, with VMware. So it's you know just a little bit of recognition for these guys to um, for what they do, what they do for the community and, and all that sort of stuff. And VMware as a as a community thing shows a bit of love to them um, for that. 
Yeah, there's lots of VSA licenses this year as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, a lot of vendors provide um, you know additional stuff as well. So yeah. there's things like you know not not for reuse licensing yeah. and Veeam the, um, and a whole bunch yeah. of other things. Plural site like, give you an yeah. annual subscription, those sort of things. So there's some pretty good stuff. Yeah, there right. is. So yeah, I mean, and all that is is because these guys have taken their own personal time and contribute to the community. So you know, we're, let's give them a round of applause. Eh? You know, I think they're <laughs> So just, you know, um, I wanted to just briefly touch about feed forward as well. Because, um, you know, the, the question I've got here, you know, um, actually, let's, let's look at the breakdown just quickly. Yeah? So you can see out of these 16 people, we've got four customers, four VMware employees, five vendors, and three integrators. So it's a really good mix, you know? Uh, it's important to see that, and you can see there. You know, the next best is Brisbane with four total. You know. Anyway. Sydney. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Where's that? So, let me have a little, just a quick talk about free forward then as well. So this is a, a scheme that's been introduced by uh, Mike Laverick, and really it's about you know taking this concept of you know what, what can I do to get involved? What can I do to um, you know, do things like uh, community presentations, get more involved in the steering committee. So, basically, the idea with the feed forward is, you know, putting the user group back into the VMUC, you know, uh, and providing people with uh, mentoring um, <coughs> facilities before they do any presentation. So, typically, what will happen is, is that someone will do a customer presentation and then they'll get post feedback, you know, which. Is it too late for them? Yeah. Hmm? Is it too late for them? No, 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 no,